So how do you get a buy-to-let mortgage? Well, if you've been considering buying an investment property and you've yet to take the first step to see if you qualify, it's easier than you may think. And this video is for you. I'm Andy from Monopoly.com and on this channel I share my experience as a property investor and landlord and also interview other investors so we can learn from their advice too. So if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos like this. If you're a homeowner, buy-to-let mortgages are similar to your residential mortgage, but the amount you can borrow doesn't depend on the amount you earn. It depends on the amount of capital you have as a deposit and the amount of rental income you can expect to receive on the property that you're looking to buy as an investment. I'd also like to add that it's easier to obtain a buy-to-let mortgage if you're already a homeowner. Now that's not to say it can't be done if you're a first-time buyer, but there will be fewer mortgage products available to you. It's worth considering buying your own home first and then renting any spare rooms to lodgers. There is a generous tax-free amount you can earn by renting to lodgers each year, which will then help you to save for a deposit for your first buy-to-let property. And you'll then find it easier to obtain a buy-to-let mortgage. If you're finding this video useful, please drop me one of these as it helps the channel a lot. I'm not a mortgage broker myself and have a huge amount of knowledge, but after having taken out numerous buy-to-let mortgages, I can tell you the basics. And to qualify for the optimal amount of lenders on the market, which is huge by the way, you will need a good credit report and regular earnings of 25,000 a year or more at the time of recording this video. Interest rates tend to be higher on buy-to-let mortgages compared to residential mortgages. Don't ask me why. I suspect it's because you're setting up a business and the lenders want their small slice of the profits? Or is that just me being cynical? Anyway, it is worth paying the extra percentage point to get your new business up and running. You will require a higher deposit compared to a residential mortgage because the lenders see a greater risk with a property being occupied by tenants as opposed to homeowners. So they want you to have more skin in the game. Buy-to-let lenders typically look for a 25% deposit of the purchase price. Although some lenders have mortgage products, that will allow you to buy a property with a smaller deposit. But you can expect to receive a higher interest rate if you do that. The criteria for qualifying is going to depend on the size of your deposit, how much rent you'll be able to charge, whether you'll be able to cover any voids, and passing a lender's stress test to ensure you can cover payments if interest rates go up. You'll have the choice of regular types of mortgages, including fixed rate, tracker, and standard variable. Another key decision you'll need to make is whether you'd prefer an interest-only mortgage or repayment mortgage. Now I have another video on the advantages and disadvantages of both types of mortgages, which I'll place on a YouTube card here. And I'll also place a link in the description below. It's worth a watch and also share what type of mortgage I use. So what options are available to you in getting a buy-to-let mortgage? Well, the first thing you could do is contact your bank. Now, not all banks provide buy-to-let mortgages, but if your bank does, I would get as much information as possible so you have something to compare at the next step, which is to contact a broker. In the past, I've recommended finding a mortgage broker who deals with buy-to-let mortgage products only, and also finding a broker who's an investor themselves Themselves. And that's because they can relate and fully understand your reasons and goals that you want to achieve. Now, I still stand by that statement, but I also realise there are many people that are very busy with their work and home life, and they won't necessarily have the time to find and meet with people face to face. And if you're looking to buy your first investment property, I'd rather you get started today and make some inquiries to get the ball rolling. Let me briefly explain the advantages to using a broker. Firstly, they act as an intermediary between you and the lender. Essentially, they do all the legwork. Also, because buy-to-let mortgages are more complex compared to your standard residential mortgage, they will sift through and source the best mortgage products available to you and help ensure that all the ducks are in a row before making an application. They'll also be able to answer any questions you may have and will oversee the application process through to your mortgage offer. Mortgage brokers can save you a lot of time and help manage your expectations. And they can have access to the whole mortgage market. There are many brokers. I recently refinanced one of my properties and I used lnc.co.uk. They have a department that specifically deals with buy-to-let mortgages and they provided a fantastic service. And it didn't cost me a penny. Okay, they would have received a commission on the arrangement or product fee or even a commission based on the percentage of the loan amount. But I didn't have to pay anything from my own pocket, which was nice. 
price. And I wouldn't have received a bill at all if I hadn't have accepted a mortgage offer. The interest rate I received was much better than the one I had before, and the arrangement fee was comparable to other lenders I'd used in the past. They also connected me with a solicitor to handle the transaction, who were also free and didn't cost me a penny either. Happy days. They have lots of information, guides, and calculators on their website, and I'll place a link in the description below. I also think they'll provide an incentive if you use my link, as opposed to going to the website directly, but I'll clarify that in the description below. I was really happy with the service they provided, which is why I'm willing to recommend them on my website and this YouTube channel. A question for you. Are you ready to invest now? Are you saving for a deposit? Or are you considering whether a buy-to-let property is the right investment for you? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.